Hi, my name is Matt Rose and I'm the QuoteWorks MVP for 2017. In this video, we'll be having a look at how to set dependent quantities, which is a new QuoteWorks 5.3 feature. This option allows us to link item quantities between various items on document. It enables you to tie a parent item to a single or multiple children items, so users can change the quantity of the parent item and the child quantities are adjusted automatically. When we log into QuoteWorks, you'll see how we can do this using labor as an example, and also maybe when we select a table top, that table top requires four legs. Dependent quantities ensure that the quantity of items needed to stay in sync with one another is always met. You can also link as many items together using this feature. On screen, you can see we have a couple of different groups of items, and I've used the color green to highlight these heading lines. Concentrating initially on our HP laptop, we've got some additional installation and configuration time, and we've got an additional four gigabyte RAM module. In version 5.2 or below of QuoteWorks, if I change the quantity of our parent item, to two, I would also need to go in and change the individual child items also. In QuoteWorks 5.3, I'm able to link the quantity based on a parent item. So let's say I've got one HP laptop, which is my parent item, and I've got some install and configuration. If I select both of these items and come to my new icon, I want to set the dependent quantity. It will ask me what is the quantity multiplier for the child item, and in this case it is 0 0.75, so I'm saying there are three quarters of an hour of work for each HP laptop. You can see that we're colour coding, which indicates the parent and child item. Now, if I change the HP laptop quantity, we see the appropriate install and configuration time automatically adjust. I've also got my additional 4 gig RAM module, which also needs to apply to the HP laptop. So again, I set my parent, my child, I set my dependent quantity, which in this case is on a one-to-one -one basis. And again, if I change the quantity of my parent item, the child item quantities automatically adjust. The parent and child items do not need to be together on the quote, so I could drag my 4GB RAM module somewhere else in the quote and the install and config, but the relationship is maintained. So again, if I change the quantity of the HP laptop, the child items automatically update still. If I select a parent line item line, I'm able to quickly identify all the relevant children of that parent item using one of my menu options. Equally, I can choose a child item and choose to highlight the dependent quantity parent. This makes it easy for me to see which items are related to others. I'll now go ahead and move these back so they're all together and come on and have a look at the table. In this case, I have a table and what I want to be saying is the upgraded table legs for each table I require four legs. So I set my dependent quantity to four. For each table, I might be saying that I need two grommets for cable management. And I could even say that this child item is also a parent item for something else. So for each grommet, I might require 0.25 hours to prepare the table. Again, we've got a slightly different color there to indicate that this is both a parent and child item. So if I change the quantity of the basic table to three, all of the other quantities will automatically update. If I wanted to disassociate a child with a parent, I could select the line and simply unlink the dependent quantity. Now, if I change the quantity of the basic table, the upgraded table legs do not update automatically. Additionally, I could manually choose to change the quantity. In this case, I get a prompt 
Do I want to manually override the line? In this case, yes, I do. Again, the link from the labor to prepare the table for the grommets is disassociated with the above line item. Whereas the simple labor feature, which is available in another video in this series, is set to products that already exist in a database, being able to set these dependent quantities on the fly, as we've done here, is another option for us. In summary, this video has talked about how we can link item quantities on the fly, tying a parent item to a single or multiple children items, allowing you to change the quantity of the parent item with the children quantities adjusting automatically. This is useful to maintain accuracy in your quotations, particularly if you're using quote valet and allowing clients to change the quantity. You can ensure that in the example, if a client chose an HP laptop, the appropriate amount of installation and configuration would automatically be applied. With the color coding of the quantity field and the ability to highlight parent or child line items, you can really quickly see which items are linked together. If you have any questions, do get in touch with our support team. They're available via email at support at quoteworks.com or via phone 407 248 1481. Thank you for watching.